Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami writes in Sri Chaitanya Charita Amrit, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's observance of Hera Panchami in Jagannath Puri. It is a festival where Jagannath leaves the goddess of fortune to visit Radharani's garden in Vrindavan. And after some days, Lakshmi Devi becomes very much upset. So she sends her maidservants, and this is all enacted in Puri. She sends her maidservants to tie up the servants of Jagannath and punish them like thieves. So while watching this very, very wonderful, dramatic performance of the devotees of Puri, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asks Swarup Damodar Goswami to explain the sweet rasas of Vrindavan. Srivas Thakur then spoke up. Srivas said, Just see the opulence of my goddess of fortune. As far as your Vrindavan is concerned, it consists of a few flowers and twigs, some minerals from the hills, a few peacock feathers, and a plant called gunja. The gopis, they are engaged in such activities as boiling milk and churning butter. But my goddess of fortune sits on a royal throne of jewels. Lord Chaitanya laughed. Srivas, you are exhibiting the nature of Narada Muni. It seems that the Lord's opulence has, has influenced you. But Swarup Damodar Goswami, he is a pure devotee of Vrindavan. Swarup Damodar Goswami does not even know what opulence is. He's absorbed only in pure devotional service. Let us hear from him. Swarup Damodar Goswami spoke. He said, Oh, Srivas, please listen attentively. You have forgotten the natural opulences of Vrindavan. In Vrindavan, everything is made out of touchstone. The very surface of the ground is the source of all precious jewels. And the Chintamani stones decorate the lotus feet of the maidservants of Vrindavan. The opulence of Vrindavan is like a vast ocean. And the opulences in Vaikuntha and Dwarka are not even tiny drops in comparison. Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. He is full in six opulences. Those opulences are only completely exhibited in Vrindavan. In Vrindavan there are natural forests of kalpabrikshas, Desire trees that can fulfill any desire anyone has in their hearts. But the inhabitants of Vrindavan, they do not want anything else but the fruits of those trees. In Vrindavan, the cows are kamadenu. That means these cows, any wish you have in the presence of these cows, all your desires will be fulfilled. <clears throat> and there are unlimited kamadenu cows grazing from pasture to pasture to pasture and the inhabitants of Vrindavan, they do not want anything else except the milk from these cows. In Vrindavan, all speech is music, all motion is dance, all water is nectar and Krishna is always playing his flute which is his constant companion. This is what constitutes the opulence of Vrindavan. When Srivas heard this, he became ecstatic. He started laughing and laughing and dancing in ecstatic love. When Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu heard Swarup Damodar Goswami give this description of Vrindavan, he wanted to hear more and more. Lord Chaitanya said, Go on singing, go on singing, go on singing. Swarup Damodar Goswami continued chanting the glories of Vrindavan and Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu became so overwhelmed in ecstatic bliss. As he was dancing, he assumed the form of Srimati Radharani. Nityananda Prabhu was a distance away. 
he kept his distance when he saw Lord Chaitanya in the form of Srimati Radharani dancing near the Gundicha temple in Sri Puri. Nityananda Prabhu offered his obeisances from a distant place. And Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Radharani's form and her ecstasy was dancing and dancing and dancing. Go on singing, go on singing. Hours and hours and hours went by until all the devotees were completely fatigued. But Lord Nityananda was the only one who could catch Lord Chaitanya and get him to stop. Swarup Damodar Goswami stopped singing and said, the devotees are very, very fatigued, please. And then Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to his external consciousness. This is Vrindavan town. It is the land of the supreme opulence, the natural opulence of love. You were listening to Radhanath Swami on thesacredconnect.com.